Where the food is real great and the music's first rate. Where I'm glad that I Maestro Bistro. Where you hear old time tunes and all kinds of crews. Where they play and sip spoons. Maestro Bistro. And stay for a while, Maestro Bistro. Relax and eat slow. Where you quietly dine and enjoy the show. Tap your foot while you chew. It's digestively good for you. Where you hear all the notes and songs about folks. In music, he bokes Maestro Bistro. Where the rhythm will vamp, whether dry, wet, or damp, that big little camp, Maestro Bistro. Welcome, everyone, to the very first virtual main fiddle camp event of 2020, Maestro Bistro, the staff concert we do at main fiddle camp during dinner time, featuring our fabulous staff. Tomorrow, we are offering up a fiddle workshop with Elaine Malkin. This is all in anticipation and preparation for virtual main fiddle camp, June 19th through 21st. So stay tuned. Find out more about events planned for that weekend and other experimental events leading up to that. All for free, but don't hesitate to donate and support Maine Fiddle Camp. Bear with us in this our first attempt, and thank you all for joining us. At this point, I would like to introduce the man who is most responsible for making this event happen, both at real Maine Fiddle Camp and now at virtual Maine Fiddle Camp, your host, or Maestro Bistro, the fabulously talented Neil Perlman. Thanks, Doug. Um, great to be here and great to have the, uh, the Bistro kicking off our virtual programming. Um, it's really exciting to be here. I I'm glad that to see you there right at Maine Fiddle Camp. It looks like it's a busy day there. Oh, yes. I just love hanging out at Maine Fiddle Camp. I I'm just getting the uh, atmosphere, feeling the atmosphere here. <laughs> yeah, and we are over here too. Um, really excited about the lineup we have. It's going to be a really fun night and it's really fun to include food uh, in this streaming concert like we do at, at camp with the uh, dinner time concerts and everyone gets to, to eat their dinner and listen to the music and we're trying to do that here with the, the live one. So hopefully at home you're eating dinner and enjoying the tunes as well. And we're going to have some discussion about food later as well. So. That's right. The head of the main Fiddle Camp Kitchen is going to be a special guest on to talk about her famous sourdough bread. Woo! Um, yeah. But before that, um, we uh, we are going to kick off things off with some amazing music from one of the one of the newest full time staff members of Main Fiddle Camp, who's been part of the Main Fiddle Camp uh, family for a very long time. Though, um, please make welcome Ben Foss. Hello, everybody. I'm super glad to be playing with, for you. I wish I could see you all out there, but we'll do what we can. Um, I'm going to start out with a couple of um, great old New England jigs, Portland Fancy, and Maggie Brown's favorite. Um. <laughs> Thank you. 
guys for listening. I Those are some of my favorite jigs these days to play for contra dances. Um, I'm going to switch over to the electric tenor guitar now for a song that I learned um, from Andy Irvine and Paul Brady's um, album together that they released in the 70s, one of the greatest albums of all time. And it's been sung probably at some past Meister Bistros. Um, you might recognize it, but it's been one of my favorites these days. <laughs> After the evening, another day. After a false love, there comes a true love. I'd have you listen now to what I say. My love, he
not exactly a everyday main fiddle camp instrument, but I've been having a lot of fun with that these days, um, messing around with different tones. And something else I've been having a lot of fun with while spending a lot of time alone is learning tunes in flat keys. Um, I've been trying to keep up with posting a, a new flat tune every Friday on my YouTube channel. Um, I missed the last week, but that's been my little project for myself to keep myself playing fiddle. And so I'm going to close out with a couple of favorite reels. Um, the Irish American reel in the key of F, which was the first flat tune I featured. Um, President Garfield's hornpipe in B flat, which we'll see if I get through. Um, and then I'm going to close out the set with the Palermo hornpipe, which is a great, apparently, main tune that I've never heard at Main Fiddle Camp. Um, but would love to hear more people playing that I got out of Ryan's Mammoth collection and, um, and then Lardner's reel at the end. Um, a bunch of my favorite country dance reels.
Well, thank you all so much for listening. I'll mention that those last two tunes I recorded on an album that I released in, month, in, in March. If you search for my name on Bandcamp, you can find it. Um, stay tuned for all these next great staff members, and I'll turn it back to Neil. I look forward to seeing you at camp sometime in the near future. Thanks, Ben. That was fantastic. Really, really lovely tunes. Um, yeah, we're, uh, we can't all be together this summer, but it's really nice to see everyone's faces and, uh, and hear all the music. Um, and hopefully some of you at home can pick up some new tunes from, from, from those shows. Um, it was mentioned earlier we're going to be featuring uh, more than just music, and right now we're going to kind of introduce our special guest to you if you don't know her already, which you probably do. Um, she is uh, the head of the Mabel Camp Kitchen, um, and we're just on here to talk about her, uh, her sorrow. Here is Kate Walsh. Welcome, Kate. Hi, Neil. Hi, everyone. Um, let me just get you on the screen here. Okay, that should work. Hello. Did you say something? Um, great. So, um, you posted a video um, through Main Fiddle Camp a couple of days ago about your sourdough, your famous sourdough. Is that um, is that a feature of Main Fiddle Camp? That very sourdough. Yeah, so that sourdough starter um, came from, as I mentioned in the video, from Tamara Goltz, who teaches fiddle at Maine Fiddle Camp, and um, she is known as Henrietta. Apparently, she's over 100 years old and came from Alaska, but I, I feel like people say that about, like, every sourdough starter. <laughs> um, so, they all come from Alaska. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I've had a lot of sourdough starters over the years, and this is by far the best one. And I love giving it away um, at camp. So um, maybe in 2021, you can stop by the kitchen and I'll, I'll give you some. That's great. So we were talking just before the show and I was wondering, um, I'm trying to cook this sourdough recipe right now. And maybe later in the show, I'll come out the other time, you know, how it went. But before, uh, I was wondering, there's also, in addition to like great bread, there's these great rolls that are in the kitchen every every day, pretty much, we eat at camp. Um, is this a recipe to those? Yeah, so, so first of all, for all of you watching who have not seen this video, we had a lot of fun. Alden Robinson edited it and made it absolutely beautiful. And I just got to like talk about making sourdough bread. Um, it was very fun. Um, and so the recipe that I used to make the loaf of bread in the video is the, actually the same dough that I use for the rolls at Fiddle Camp. Um, but when I'm at home, I just prefer to use um, a no need method. We have this incredible mixer at the main Fiddle Camp kitchen that I just absolutely adore. And it lets us need like pounds and pounds of dough at a time. Um, but when I'm home, I'm just kind of lazy. So if you have a, a Dutch oven um, that you can use, it's really simple to make a, a really delicious loaf of no need bread. It's like hardly any work. Amazing. Well, um, we're gonna be checking back in with you a bit later. And if anyone has questions about sourdough or the main fiddle camp kitchen for Kate, type them into the comments on the YouTube or Facebook video and we will be, um, I'll be, I'll be kind of relaying some of those questions to Kate later in the show. Um, but for the moment, we're going to move over to uh, our next guest. Thanks, Kate. We'll see you in a minute. So we're going to go over to uh, um, one of the main fiddle camp families, the one of the member of the main fiddle camp families. This is uh, Aiden Boardman. Make him welcome. Hey, thanks. The five families. So we're going to, thanks, Neil, for the introduction. Um, Coming to you live from Bushwick, Brooklyn, but it's a wee bit humming down here, so I'm going to change my settings a bit. There it is. That's much better. Now that feels better. Um, I am not a fiddler. I am a guitar player, guitar teacher at Main Fiddle Camp, uh, if I'm lucky, and um, Main Fiddle Camp definitely uh, made me the guitar player I am today and the songwriter I am today, but um, I'm going to start off with the Paul McCartney song. A bit ahead of its time, um, ahead of this time, the uh, the shelter in place. <laughs> Every night, I just want to be with you, Main Fiddle Camp. Thank you so much. Oh man, uh, I don't think anyone else can see uh, Neil and Doug, but I can, and that makes me one of the luckiest person people in the world. Um, 
to see these faces. This is great. Um, yeah, I'm going to play some songs of mine. I, I debuted this next one at, uh, it might have been the first Maestro Bistro. I'm not totally sure. The first year we had Maestro Bistro, maybe not the first one. Um, I was uh, lucky enough to be taken on the road in the summer of 2016, and I was spending a lot of time in the car and a lot of time looking at my cell phone. And so I wrote this song on tour called Tour Song, and uh, you can blame Bennett for this one because he suggested I play it tonight. My pictures of the horizon Don't do any justice My own eyes, they swivel Dilate and focus The image gets stored in Computers and sorted Into a data chasm Of an S.A. porno So keep your eyes on the screen Little TV channel just for me I just wanna go home, son And work on my toy Facebook. Hello, YouTube. Aim Fiddle Camp. Thanks for tuning in. Um, if I may, uh, if you wanted to ever hear my original music, you uh, you might be able to find it under my name of Aiden Boardman. But if I may, just use some extra special effects here. Ooh, this is the project I'm at, uh, promoting tonight. No, it's not working. Okay, so if you go to <laughs> A-N-G-U-I-D, that's anguid.bandcamp.com. Uh, that's where my music can be found and uh, also streaming under that name, Anguid, A-N-G-U-I-D. Um, I'm going to play 
uh, a song from my old band, uh, which is called Dreamt, also on Bandcamp, D-R-E-A-M-T, dreamt.bandcamp.com. Um, as I was saying before, I think Main Fiddle Camp just influenced uh, everything about the way I think about music and um, uh, uh, has just given me the opportunity to share that with other people and through teaching. I'm so thankful for that all the time. And um, it's uh, painful to think that we won't be able to do it in person quite this year, but I'm so glad that we're, we're still continuing this tradition together. So thanks to everybody. <laughs> And, uh, oh my gosh, I didn't even think about this. The last one was called Tour Song, and I'm, uh, I call this one River Song. <laughs> Little River, won't you run for me? Let's look at the lyrics this time, because that's what I was going to do anyway. Take two. Little river, won't you run for me? Make the roots grow deeper under hungry trees. Even though you gave me hands like needles, I reach for you each time I running under you and I reaches up from the clay do you wonder why it's silver fingers keep coming for us or why we say no to the touch please set aside your hate for the underbrush what are you gonna do when summer's done don't slow down the story cannot end Take me around the bend Thanks. Uh, yeah, River Song by Dreamt, my old college band. Um, I wrote this other one sort of uh, in character. It's another Angwood tune. Uh, and it's I think it's probably about uh, phones and technology, too. It's called Big Bright Screens. Sorry for any feedback or crunchy noises. Given metal forks and plastic knives. You can stuff your face, but you can't fight. Ruins my day, and I take more than I should. It ain't right, but damn, it feels good. It feels good. I still believe in everything I read. 
can't speak, but I can't quite walk away. I still believe in everything I read, so read through me. Increasingly complicated age of people's good. a lot of time recording different instruments in bedrooms because I had just this to deal with. These two chords, G and E chords, you can play these chords. Thanks everybody, thanks for listening. Uh, so glad to be a part of this. Um, I have uh, one more on my list. I'm looking at Neil's screen for a thumbs up. It looks like maybe we're... Yeah, looks like we're going to move on to the show. I really, really appreciate this. Maestro E. Bistro. I think it's uh, been the best ever. So uh, I'm so glad that I can be here. And uh, <laughs> thanks, Aiden. Uh, thanks, Neil. And uh, stay tuned for all these performers, everybody. Enjoy your meals. That was awesome. Aiden Boardman, everybody. Give him a big hand. It's loud enough that he can hear it at his house. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um this is uh just at the halfway moment i'm just going to step in for a second to make a couple quick announcements just to remind you number one that um this is just the first of a whole lot of things that virtual main fiddle camp is going to be doing um to kind of keep the main fiddle camp spirit alive while you're all at home and kind of try to keep you keep you connected um so if you want to support main fiddle camp in doing all of that you can uh donate through the paypal link that should be in the description to the video wherever you are um, watching it. And uh, yeah, just check, check, on, check in with that and support it, support the uh, camp and doing everything it's doing. Um, tomorrow, in fact, is another uh, event. Elaine Malkin will be doing a workshop on Zoom. And then we're doing a bunch more stuff leading up to a big camp weekend uh, um, in June. So I um, want to remind you about that. And I uh, want to remind you to submit questions for Kate, um, who will be back after this next performer to answer some of them. Um, and I also want to say we are going to do another virtual Maestro Bistro in two weeks on May 29th, same time, same place. So um, come back to see a bunch more of Main Fiddle Camp staff um, and, you know, eat some more food, which I'm sure you'll be doing between now and then anyway. Anyway, I'm going to mo move right on. And um, our next performer has kind of been a bit of a jack of all trades um, at camp from being helping out with the teaching the fiddle to being a youth counselor to being the lifeguard. And she's a fantastic Scottish fiddler in her own right. So here, please make welcome Elizabeth Anderson and her brother, Ben. Thank you. 
Okay, all right. Hi, everybody. Um, so we are Elizabeth and Ben Anderson, and as Neil said, you probably know me as the camp lifeguard and youth counselor, um, but I have been known to teach fiddle classes or whatever, whatever Doug needs me to do. Um, so we are coming to you live from our uh, mom's uh, guest room in Westboro, Massachusetts. And missing you all very, very much right now. Um, Maine Fiddle Camp has kind of been my summer home for the last five or six years. Um, I've, I've started losing count by this point. So we're really, really disappointed that it's not happening. But thinking of all of you and um, sending some tunes your way. So, um, all right, that was a set of tunes that we uh, call Over the Isles. And it's uh, we named the set after the first tune of the three that we just played. And we're actually going to play a slow tune for you guys now, and this is called Kepic Desolate. <laughs>
are going to end our set with one more. Um, and before we play that, I just want to say a huge thank you to Doug and Neil and Main Fiddle Camp for putting this together. It's really a huge um, pleasure to play for you, even though we can't see you in person. Um, and we're really looking forward to the day and the time that we can play tunes with all of you again. Um, so this last set of tunes are going to be some um, jig, a jig and then some reels. Um, with a slightly deceptive beginning.
much. Thank you for watching. And I did forget to mention uh, earlier that if you were interested in hearing more of our music or buying our CD that came out last winter, about a year and a half ago, um, our website is elizabethandbenanderson.com and we've got links to all of our music there. So thank you so much. And we're going to turn it back over to Neil and Kate. Thank you, Elizabeth and Ben. That was Elizabeth and Ben Anderson. And I didn't check on the Facebook feed, but I know that um, the, we put a link to their Bandcamp in the chat on the YouTube uh, stream there, so you can go check out more of their music there as well. Um, but for the moment, we're going to head back over to Kate and, um, yeah, I think we've got you sorted out. There. Okay, hey, Kate, if you're there. Hey, cool. So um, we got an audience question or two, and then I have a couple of my own as well. But um, Someone was asking how long uh, Henrietta stays sort of active if you leave for a couple days or something. Say that again, Neil, you kind of flipped out. Sorry. She, someone was asking how, act, how long Henrietta will stay active if you leave her in the fridge for a bit. Um, in the fridge, she'll go dormant pretty quickly. Um, I usually, if I'm planning to use it, her, for something, um, I'll leave it out on the counter. Um, usually I'll put it in the fridge if I am like trying to make it go dormant, if I'm not planning to use it for a few days or um, even up to like a few weeks. I've sort of been neglectful in the past and she still always seems to make it through, so. That's great. You did say something about her being very um, resilient to me the other day. Um, yeah. So I, I did uh, do my best to follow your recipe with my new starter. And thanks to Katie here for helping me take it out of the oven while I was sitting in here clicking buttons. So this is my result. It's still, it's still resting. So I haven't been had a chance to cut it open and see. It feels a little dense. I'm not sure that it, um, I'm not sure it rose quite as much as I wanted it to, but it's a new starter. So I don't know. Well, I'll, I can let you guys know how it goes once it's time to open it up, but um. It's really pretty. You did the scoring really nicely. Oh, that's Katie. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, we um, we only have one type of flour because we could only get one because of the way the stores are right now. So we ordered some sifted wheat flour from Maine Grains, um, and uh, we've been using that. But it seems like this it's been smelling pretty good. So hopefully it tastes good. <laughs> did you did you start Henrietta yourself as a starter? No, I didn't. Um, I got her from Tamara and she was already very okay. active. And um, I think I was saying this to you before that I actually have had pretty bad luck when I've tried to make my own sourdough starter. Like for people who don't already have a sourdough starter, you can get one from a friend, you can mail order them. I think there are some websites that will send them to you or you can actually like start your own, which Neil, I think you did, right? Yeah. Actually, this is my second one. I started one a couple years ago, but I was too on the road too much to really keep it going. <laughs> but the first like week or two, I was carrying it around in the car with me to keep it warm um, and fed. So it was just a little much to do for a touring musician, but now we're home for a while. So I thought I'd try it again. Um, and it's, it has been pretty easy to get going. It's just deciding when it's actually ready to cook with when it's active enough um, has been a challenge on this one. The other one got going really easily, but this one got going really quickly and then kind of have plateaued and I've been trying to figure out the right balance but it's a fun project especially now when we're looking for projects <laughs> yeah that's great yeah I was saying um you know I think for those of you who haven't baked with sourdough um you know it's basically like taking the place of of yeast right and so like if your sourdough isn't active enough you won't get a loaf that is risen to the point where you have like a good crumb um which will be like a denser loaf which Neil said might be right. his um yeah so it's really important and you know I've just been really lucky with Henrietta to have this like really reliable um you know workhorse of a sourdough that really doesn't let me down ever <laughs> um so that's really great that's great fantastic well um I think we uh, are running close to the schedule here, so we should move over to Bennett, but it's been great to chat with you about the sourdough and I'm excited to try the recipe. I'll let you know, or try eating it. I'll let you know how it goes. Um, those of you watching who'd like to try it and uh, haven't seen it yet, Kate's video should be up on, right on the Main Fiddle Camp YouTube channel and we posted it 
um, to the page on Facebook too. So you should be able to find it and you can learn a lot about sourdough and uh, maybe try and follow along yourself. Yeah, and I just do wanna say about the video really quickly that I feel like um, I take a very folk approach to making bread. There are lots of really great websites and really great books about bread that will like get you into the nitty gritty. Um, and if you're like wanting a more specific recipe, those are definitely out there. Um, and if you're just getting started, I recommend doing that just because there's so much um, experience involved in like working with dough. And so, um, yeah, that's my disclaimer, but um, it's also not that hard. So don't be intimidated. Um, it's great. It was encouraging to see like you use the measurement one wallop of flour in there. And it was great to just be like, oh, I'm just going to follow how much flour makes it look right instead of trying to measure it out. That's a nice permission to be given. <laughs> yeah, good. Well, enjoy. Well, thank you. And thanks, Kate. Um, we're going to move on to our final uh, guest of um, the evening here, um, who, if you've been to Maine Fiddle Camp, you'll know well. Um, he uh, leads the Warblers and does a lot of work songs and coming to us from Belfast. We started in Belfast with Ben Foss. We're going to finish up in the Belfast area with Bennett Kinesny. Here you go. On the bowling, the bowling, oh, on the bowling, we'll haul for better weather. Oh, on the bowling, the bowling, oh, on the bowling, we'll even haul together. How on the bow and the bow and how King Louis was the king of France before the revolution. How on the bow and the bow and how then he got his head chopped off and spoiled his constitution. How on the bow and the bow and how that's it. Woo! Well, oh hey, thanks for coming over to my place for the Maestro Bistro. Duck back farm up here on the ridge. You know, it's been a really cold spring here in Maine for those of you who are from away. And uh, I thought I had enough wood to get through the winter, but I had to stack on a little bit more because I think we're gonna have a couple more fires to get through this May and this pandemic too, for that matter. So why don't you join me by the, by the wee pot stove here and uh, we'll, sing a, we'll sing a little classic. It's called The Wee Dark Engine Room. How the wintry blizzards blow, and the whaling ships at rest, tucked in Lee Harbor's sheltered bay, safely anchored ten abreast, the whalers at their stations, and from shed to shed they go, carrying little bags of coal with them, and a little iron stove. Sing it if you know it. In that wee dark engine room Where the chill seeps through your soul How we huddled round that wee pot stove That burned oily rags and coal Now Fireman Patty worked with me On the engine stiff and cold A stranger to the truth was he There's not a lie he hasn't told he boasted of his gold mines and of all the hearts he's won. And his bonny sense of humor shone just like a ray of sun in that wee dark engine room where the chill seeps through your soul. How we huddled round that wee pot stove that burned oily rags and coal. We labored seven days a week with cold hands and frozen feet, bitter days and lonely nights, drinking grog and having fights, fresh fish and whale meat sausage, hot penguin eggs a treat, and we'd shuffle off to work each day through icy rain and sleet in that wee dark engine room where the chill seeps through your soul how we huddle round that wee pot stove that burned oily rags and coal then one day we saw the sun and the factory ships returned meet an old friend sing a song 
Hope the season won't be long for it's homeward bound when it's over. We'll leave this icy hole. And I always will remember that little iron stove. I know dinner's pretty much up for the Maestro Bistro, so now grab your dishes and wash them if you got them. In that wee dark engine room where the chill seeps through your soul. How we huddled round that wee pot stove that burned oily rags and coal. In that wee dark engine room where the chill seeps through your soul. How we huddle round that wee pot stove that burns oily rags and coal. Yeah, nice to see everybody singing along with me out there. Whew. Well, you know what happens after you finish dinner? You know, you may think, oh, I'm not a farmer, I'm not a sailor, I can't sing work songs, but you probably get dishes you probably got a floor to sweep, so uh, I'm going to encourage you to pick up your brooms, put your chairs away for the moment, grab your broom, and let's all uh, let's all sing a classic, shall we? What do you say to a little farthest field, huh? That'll that'll do us. Here we go. There is a land. High on a hill, where I am going, there is a voice that calls to me, the air is sweet, the grass is wave, the wind is blowing, away up in that farthest field, oh, oh, oh. walk with me, and be revealed when one day we went our way up to the farthest field the sun will rise the sun will set across the mountains and we will live in beauty there the fragrant flowers the days and hours I will not be counted, and peaceful songs will fill the air. Oh, 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 walk with me, and we will see the mystery revealed. When one day we wend our way up to the farthest field, oh, Oh, my dear friends, I truly love to hear your voices lifted up in radiant song, though through the years we all have made our separate choices. We've ended here where we belong. Oh, 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 walk with me. And we will see the mystery revealed When one day we wend our way up to the farthest field I know one day I'll leave my home Here in this valley And climb up to that field so fair Counted in that final tally, I know that I will see you there. Oh, 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 walk with me, and we will see the mystery revealed. When one day we wend our way up to the farthest field, oh, 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 oh walk with me. And we will see the mystery revealed When one day we wend our way up to
the farthest field up to the farthest field. Woo! All right, gang. Don't we love the farthest field? Yeah. We could sing that every day for the rest of our lives, couldn't we? It's a uh, course uh, written by uh, from Rockport, Maine, uh, Dodson. David Dodson. And uh, he's still kicking. So next time you see him in the street, say, hey, David, sing us a little farthest field. Or maybe offer up your version. I got uh, something little to cool it down and quiet it up and take, uh, take us out. I've got a little, um, little singing viola number. Get us back to the strings here. And then I'm going to play a fiddle tune from Ruros, Norway, where uh, some of my ancestors are from up there in Norway. And um, think about all those immigrants who came to America from all over the world and brought their amazing music to, to little little old state of Maine and all across the country, playing whatever the tunes were that they grew up with. So we'll send it out to, to anyone who's an immigrant or is son and daughter of an immigrant and remember those people and the, the, uh, everyone who lived here when they got here. So uh, here we go to my old brown earth. Also sending this out to everybody struggling in the pandemic times and uh, shut in and who may have lost friends and family and loved ones. Yeah, this one is for you too. Pete Seeger song. To my old brown earth and to the clear blue sky I now give you these last few molecules of eye and you who sing and you who stand nearby I charge you now do not cry guard well the human chain watch well you keep it strong as long as sun does shine and this our home keep pure and sweet and green for now i'm yours and you are also Thank you.
Oh, I got a few people to thank. First, I want to say, please come on down to worksongs.org. I realize this is now backwards. Well, it says visit worksongs.org, not backwards. Okay, visit worksongs.org. Support the Work Song Project on Patreon. Basically, I want to crowdsource a return to singing out comfortably, loudly, in the fields, in the kitchen, in the barn, wherever you are. And, or you can support me by buying garlic to plant this summer and fall, duckbackfarm.com. So uh, I also want to thank Neil and Doug and everybody for setting this all up. All the fans of the main fiddle camp, Aiden, Kate, Ben, Elizabeth, and ben Benjamin Foss. You guys did amazing. It was so fun to see you. I also want to thank my sound and video woman, Arista Holden. There she is, holding, holding my laptop and my, my sweet little duct tape and plywood audio system. Uh, I think that's about it. Thank you guys. Keep the faith. Keep on singing, whether you're doing dishes or sweeping your floor. There's room for learning a ton of songs so that we can sing together on the other side. Bye. Wow, what a great show! And we only get better as we master this media. I really think we captured some of the main fiddle camp spirit here. Uh, this was really thrilling. Many thanks to the to the performers, and please continue to join our events and support Main Fiddle Camp. So, so long from Main Fiddle Camp, and take us out, Neil Perlman. Thanks, Doug. Um... What a great show. Thanks, everyone, for being part of it. And if you're watching, don't forget to check out everything that we're doing with the virtual Maine Fiddle Camp. Um, over at the Maine Fiddle Camp website, mainefiddlecamp.org, we've got a virtual Fiddle Camp page with everything. Or just subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow our Facebook group if you don't already, all that stuff. We're going to be put, doing a bunch of stuff um, over the next month, uh, culminating with a big thing in June, and maybe more after that. So thanks, everyone.